Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Happy What I Eat Wednesday video coming straight to you guys from my kitchen. My name is Brittany. Uh, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by this channel. I really do appreciate you. And thanks so much if you're coming back again. I absolutely love filming these videos. I film these What I Eat Wednesday videos every single Wednesday here on my channel. And right now I am in my postpartum fitness journey. I have a 10 month old little baby and the weight has definitely come off a lot slower this time around. So I have dedicated this channel to really focus focusing on my postpartum fitness journey and the way that I'm planning to achieve that is obviously through lower carb eating or the keto lifestyle and right now I'm also including intermittent fasting so I'm definitely going to be showing you guys a bunch of keto options today we're going to be using some leftovers because I've got some stuff in my fridge that I got to get rid of um, so as you can see I started off with my pre-workout this morning and I just got done working out and the workout was killer. I am doing Morning Meltdown 100 right now. For those of you guys that have asked about my workout program, I am a beach body coach, so that is the program that I'm using. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and we are going to get right into this video. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, you guys. It really does help support my channel. It lets me know that you guys are interested in these videos and it lets me uh, know to keep on making them. So make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that and if you're new here, I hope that you guys would consider hitting that little red subscribe button join the fam watch me you know release some of this weight that I really want to release if you're not new and you've uh, been following me over on my Instagram I did tell everybody over the weekend that I was finally out of the 160s yay I um, reached 159 pounds which is huge for me because before I got pregnant with my son I was 147 pounds and that's kind of always been like my goal weight to like get back to I don't have like an ultimate goal weight I have more of like a goal look but for the sake of getting back to pre-pregnancy weight, I think that's something that I really do want to try and achieve. So I would love to get back to 147, which means I'm only 12 pounds away, you guys. So it was Father's Day yesterday. Happy belated Father's Day to everyone here or any dads in your guys' life. Happy Father's Day to them. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. But for me, I definitely kicked myself out of ketosis. We went on a hike. I did have a video posted here um, this past Monday, uh, so you guys, if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and do so. It's like a little just vlog of our day. I do um, do like vlogs and like mom content here on this channel as well from time to time, so it's not all weight loss related, but there is a consistent Wednesday video here every single Wednesday that you guys can count on, but I do throw in the motherhood content because you guys know I am a mom, so I do like to include that. But anyways, we went um, on like a nice hike on Mon uh, on Sunday, on Father's Day. We did like a little travel. It was like a long drive in the car, but over the weekend I definitely indulged. Like I had some mashed potatoes on Saturday night for like my husband's steak and salmon dinner and I also had like tortilla chips on Sunday so I'm definitely not in ketosis so right now I am trying to get back in that is a huge issue for me is staying on top of my eating like consistently I am definitely one of those like weekend people that's like oh it's the weekend I can kind of like relax but if you know anything about this lifestyle you know that you have to stay under a certain carb count so that is why I did start using the carb manager app on recommendation by Daniela Diaries who I absolutely Absolutely love I talk about her all the time um, but I did start tracking just because I really want to make sure that I am like not going over my carb count and especially for times like this when I'm trying to get myself back into ketosis which I feel like I'm consistently trying to doing so I I feel like I'm consistently trying to do is like get back into ketosis after like a bad weekend or like a binge or something so I am dedicating myself to this entire week of eating clean and staying on track weekend included so 
fingers crossed you guys please give me a thumbs up if you are voting for me to stay on my diet plan because like your girl can work out i can work out every single day but the eating part is like so hard for me so that is another reason why i absolutely love these videos because they not only give you guys like good keto low carb options but they keep me accountable and your girl needs that accountability so i'm gonna quit yapping because i've been talking now for about five minutes <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get on with today's video bye so before I get into today's video, I did want to say that this video is in collaboration with my friend Shauna Ray over at Shauna Ray Videos. She is an awesome mom of one little boy and she also produces a ton of content similar to mine with a lot of healthy recipes, cleaning videos, and motherhood content. So when you guys are done checking out this video, make sure that you head on over to her channel and check out her video as well. She'll be doing a full day of eating and I'll have all of her social media linked down below. All right, you guys, so I got this egg frying here, and this just has salt, pepper, parsley, um, a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, and I'm just going to fry this egg up, and then I've got about 25 grams of spinach, which is like basically nothing, um, and some olive oil and salt and pepper here, and then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up with a wrap. I'm going to use my Mission Balance um, carb balance tortilla, and then I'm going to do um, about 30 grams of cheese. No. I don't know, I'm gonna weigh it out how many grams of cheese I do for my little cheese shell. And then I'm also going to dish up a little bit of this homemade um, guacamole on top. And that's gonna be my first meal. The time right now is 10.20 a.m. So yeah, doing pretty good on time. I just wanna make sure that I get some food in. Um, and I'm not doing coffee today because I had two scoops of pre-workout. Like I had one scoop before I started filming because I really needed to wake up. But I'm like afraid of all the caffeine because I've been having like eye twitches lately. So yeah, and I don't look that much better. Sorry, you guys are just going to get this look today but or a bunch of food. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to hook this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to take this cheese. This is the Mexican style four cheese blend and I'm just going to weigh it out. I really like weighing out my food, but sometimes I can get a little obsessive compulsive about it, which is why I try to be easy. So this is like 25 grams of cheese, so I'm just gonna take this all, my pan is smoking, I'm gonna drop it on there, make my little cheese shell. You guys, this is such a good, like, it's so good to do it like this, like, oh yeah, I mean the cheese is nice and crunchy, it just gives, your food like a lot of texture and flavor and I just absolutely love it. Okay, here it is. So super nice and simple and easy and I'm just gonna fold this over and eat it like a taco. And it got a nice crunch on the low carb shell too. You guys, this may be so good. Super quick and easy and filling. Lots of nice fats. Um, got some veggies in there. So happy about this. Gonna eat this. I'll check you guys at the next time I eat. All right, you guys. It is 12.15 right now and I'm feeling a little hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a quick snack. I'm gonna have some pepperoni. This is just the Hormel brand. The serving size on this is 15 pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve up 15 pieces. I'm gonna top that with two ounces of this Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm going to top that with some jalapenos. This stuff is so good. This is like definitely one of my favorite snacks, especially if you guys like um, like salty, spicy, savory kind of food. Like this just, mm. I love it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so really quickly, this is my snack. Um, I just topped it with, I, I divvied up the two ounces of cream cheese. I got this Philadelphia cream cheese, you guys. I was using this in the past, but I want to show you guys something. So if you look on the stats on the back of this, so this has two grams of carbs in it. The Philadelphia cream cheese brand has less than one carb. So this is a way to like still keep your fat pretty high. So like the fat content on this is 10 grams of fat per serving. And I think, yeah, so it's nine grams of fat. So you get more fat, less carb with Philadelphia. So um, yeah, definitely make sure you guys are, oop, I lost one. Make sure you guys are paying attention to that when you guys are picking out stuff. That's why it's so important to read labels. But plus Philadelphia is just much better and creamier in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and munch on this and I'll catch you guys later. 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to head out for a little bit. I've got a couple errands to run, but I'm just gonna take a quick smoothie with me. Time right now is 1.30, and I'm not feeling super hungry, but I know that I should probably eat something. Sorry, the lighting is terrible in here. Let me okay, see. that should have fixed the lighting issue. But anyways, I am just going to be making a quick smoothie. I just have some water and ice cubes in here. I'm going to blend together a scoop of this vanilla Shakeology, which is the only protein powder I'm using right now. Um, I'm probably gonna do a few tablespoons of this Too Good Vanilla Yogurt, and this is just for creaminess. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop of my chocolate base, a scoop of my salted caramel um, collagen, I'm gonna add in probably a quick tablespoon a quick tablespoon a little tablespoon of this peanut butter and then I'll probably add a few um, like maybe a tablespoon of this heavy whipping cream also I'll just go ahead and blend this all up and this will be like my little afternoon snack thing I'm not really feeling like making like an official lunch I don't know I might think about it later when I get back from the post office but for now this is gonna do so and there we go. That is my nice uh, shake. And this actually tastes really good. It's like the chocolate base that I put in there provides a really good chocolate flavor. And then the salted caramel is really popping through. And just, it's just super complimentary. I love it. Mm. And it's hot out there today. So, the one thing. This Shakeology that I use, this is the um, vanilla flavor. I just looked and this one has, what is it? Nine net carbs per serving because there's 13 grams of carbs and then four fiber. You guys know all about that. If you guys want me to do like a thorough video on like exactly what ketosis is and how to count carbs and how to like calculate your macros and things like that, let me know down in the comment because I um, I can do like a, a very detailed, I say like people should know like how to do net carbs, but not everybody is familiar with this diet or is like new and just kind of learning. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do like a keto basics or like a keto for beginner style video because I would love to sit down and chat about that. Just everything that I've learned over the last like two, two and a half years. I would love to chat with you guys about that and just kind of have like an informative packed video. So let me know. But this has nine net carbs in it. Shakeology is like the only um, protein powders that I have ever used before. But obviously, that's my baby. Let me go and get him actually. Okay, back. So actually, Shakeology is the only shake that I've ever used. But if you guys know something that has less carbs, carb count would you comment down below and let me know what you use or what you think is good I like a protein shake that has a lot of like flavor options although I typically tend to stick with like vanilla chocolate strawberry you know the basic ones because I feel like with vanilla I could literally make a shake any flavor I want so as long as they have like a decent vanilla flavor I'm happy go ahead and drop those down in the comments for me this baby is trying to get my shakeology you guys I must give him a sip This is TJ, he's 10 months old and he always wants to eat and drink whatever mommy's eating and drinking. It's good, huh buddy? <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna sit here and drink this and I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I honestly think I'm gonna do, I have some leftovers in my fridge and like I know that this video should be like really informative with like new recipes and stuff but leftover keto lasagna that I need to use up so I might actually just do some of that he looks hey guys all right so it is 10 minutes to 6 o'clock right now I'm getting ready to have my last meal and I'm going to be having some amazing leftovers so this is a keto lasagna that I made the other day and I'm gonna quickly show it to you guys and explain to you what it is since I didn't actually cook it today so you won't be seeing me make it but I will definitely leave a recipe for you guys linked down below if that's something you're interested in, but I'll just talk you through it really quickly. So I have had a really crazy day. Like I'm just kind of feeling blah. I'm not really feeling like cooking dinner tonight or being really interesting with dinner, but I did have this leftover lasagna and all this is is it's ground beef prepared like regular spaghetti. And instead of lasagna noodles, I just used sliced 
squash. So I have some yellow squash and I have some green zucchini in there as well. And I just layered it, so I did a little bit of the meat sauce, a layer of the zucchini, some uh, cheese, I did a little bit of ricotta and a little bit of shredded mozzarella, then more meat sauce, then another layer of squash then i repeated that and then up at the top here is just like a big layer of cheese and then i baked all of this together for i think about 45 minutes or so but definitely check out the recipe that i'll have linked for you guys down below in the description box this is so good and it just gets better at with the days if you're somebody who likes leftovers like me because i love leftovers it's so good, the noodles or the zoodles retain the flavor and so it just tastes really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. I might make a salad, I'll show you guys what I have. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and top my lasagna with a little bit more cheese, just get me some extra fat and then, you know, cheese is life. I love cheese and I don't have a dairy problem so I can do that. And I did want to tell you guys, um, first of all, I only drank like half of this. For some reason, halfway through, I started to get really nauseous. And I don't know if that's because of the base that I added in here and the fact that I know for a fact it was not in ketosis. So I don't know if it messed with my stomach or what. But I, I literally, like it was up here and I literally only drank half. So before I had to like stop drinking it, I put it in the fridge, but I'm about to dump it because I, I just ugh, don't even want to look at it. Um, and then the second thing I wanted to show you guys was this Rayo's homemade marinara. This is the sauce that I used for my lasagna. I picked this stuff up at Costco. The specs on this are really good because as you guys know, if you know anything about spaghetti sauce, it's typically really high in sugar and in carbs. There's five net carbs per serving in this and two proteins, only four grams of sugar. So this is really a good option for pasta sauce. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. So there is like a ragu, like um, no sugar added option that I do like to use also, but I had some of this already, so I decided to use it. But I am going to go ahead and eat. And then with my salad, this is just lettuce straight out of my um, garden there. I got some tomatoes, some celery, red onion, uh, some cilantro. And then I'm going to be using this Lighthouse Jalapeno Ranch. This stuff is my jam. It's so good. Taylor's home. He's holding the baby. The baby's being real fussy right now. He's not wanting to eat his food, but he's hungry. So... I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna end the video right here. So thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Oh, let me get him a strawberry. Berry. Watch, watch this. Okay, just kidding. I'm not done. I'm gonna have this um, pudding pack. It is the snack pack sugar-free and I'm just craving something sweet. The time right now is 628 so I'm just about to scarf this down and 630 will be the end of my fasting time and really quick I did just want to go over with you guys my stats for today. So 41 out of 42 and I did already add in my snack pack. I added in everything that I had today. So 41 out of 42 net carbs, 69 gram total carbs, which is good for me because like I said, I do aim a little bit higher for carbs personally. That's just what I do. It works for me. Um, th what does that say? 1531 out of 1878 calories. I still need to do a little bit better on my cal calories. 104 grams out of 140 fat. Um, I think I'm going to start making some fat bombs, you guys, because I struggle with getting enough calories in like every day. Like that seems to be my struggle. Like I cannot get in enough calories. And as you guys know, like I do work out every single day. So I do need the calories in order to like lose the weight um so yeah i've logged everything here for my day everything is done got my snap my um sugar-free pudding pack there so i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm done watch what happens yay all done for today I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys go and check out Shauna's channel after mine. She is really awesome. I'll have all of her social media and her video linked down below. She is also going to be doing a What I Eat Wednesday video. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I gotta go attend to my baby now. Bye.